is it a huge opportunity for wealth creation or? Yeah, it's immense. It's bigger than the internet. Uh, I'll tell you why. I want to keep it down to earth uh, because um, I'm actually using it now in use cases. There's every sector of the economy, every aspect of research, every aspect of business has a huge opportunity here. But let's just take use cases that you would understand, everybody listening would understand. In today's post-pandemic world, most businesses have developed large and small direct to consumer strategies where they try and build relationships with customers and sell them product direct. Yeah, they still use retail. Say you're Nike or something. And um, you, you were 27% uh, you know, direct to consumer before the pandemic, you're now 50%. And, and direct to consumer gets you higher margins, but also gets you data, gets you information about the preferences of your customer base, what they like, what they don't like, the flavors and what they buy, when they buy, where they buy it, all that stuff. And it's very interesting, that data. And let me give you an example, wine business. If you think about the wine business, the challenge of a thousand year old business, you don't know what the weather's gonna be like. You don't know what varietals to, to, to grow because you don't know what the preference of the customer is because you're selling it through multiple tiers of distribution. During the pandemic, 43 states in America opened up direct to consumer sales from the wineries on the West Coast. For the first time ever, the wineries found out what people buy, where they buy it, when they buy it, what they drink, what varietals. And I'm in the wine business. I sell with 3 million bottles a year of wine. One of my companies, actually a Shark Tank company. Um, and we partner with a company called uh, QVC. We sell on online. And, and, and so I can tell you today, this month, this week, the number one varietal in Southern Florida for women ages 44 to 64 is Moscato, a sweet wine. I think it tastes like shit. I don't care what I think. It's the number one wine right now. And I knew that to, to make that varietal available six months ago so that I would be able to ship it and put the inventory, the CapEx, in the right place at the right time to support that demand for the rest of this summer. A sweet, cold Moscato wine. That means I spent a lot less money and a lot less risk. I don't have any varietals they don't want this summer. I have exactly what they want. That was AI. It cost me virtually nothing to get that data. It, 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 five, 10 years ago, it would have cost me a million bucks to go do all the market research. I got that for $18,000. So that's using an AI tool. Here's another example. 